I set my alarm between 3.30 and 5 a.m. I am obsessed with taking 100,000 steps a day. I kind of let myself down this week. One day I walked 35,000 and it nearly killed me. <laughs> so when I asked her and she says, I think I did 100,000 today. It's like, Liz, why? You don't have time to do anything else. I usually jog about three and a half hours before I take a break. When it's time for my first break, I usually eat yogurt and blueberries. I just mix it in and I jog for about another two and a half, three hours and I eat my second breakfast. And then I jog about another three hours when I eat my lunch. I absolutely wish I just had a catheter so I didn't have to stop jogging. Every seven and a half minutes, I change direction. If Liz got pneumonia, she would still jog around the coffee table. I know I've seen her fall into the coffee table, you know, like trip herself and hurt her leg, and she still continues to jog. Jogging has consumed my life. Well, Liz's extreme step routine means that she burns four to 5,000 calories a day, which makes her think about her other obsession, which is food. My brain is a tangle of an obsession of eating and food and calories. That's literally all I think about. Liz abuses food. When she fixes a meal, she weighs the portions. I restrict my food during the day. I measure out a third of a cup and then I only eat a half of that of the cottage cheese. Yeah, I stick to about 1,900 to 2,100 calories a day and I try to burn a quart or 5,000. The hardest part about restricting my calories is I'm addicted to sweet foods. She has me buy her red velvet cakes. By the end of the night, I like to reward myself with a slice of red velvet cake. On a good day, I'll do two slices. Then after I eat my red velvet cake, I'll let myself get my cereal. Has to be exact. By the time the night's over, I've eaten four or five cups of Lucky Charms. She likes pumpkin pie, she likes cinnamon rolls, but then she's always got to compensate with the steps. Take some cake and keep walking. It's an endless cycle. Sitting here in this interview has given me anxiety and making me wonder how many steps I'm missing and how many calories are going straight to my thighs. Okay, glad to meet you. Thank you. Are you anxious sitting here because you'd rather be yes. <laughs> walking? Yes. And did you did you walk and jog yesterday? Yes. How many steps? About 62,000. About 62,000. So what is going through your mind as you sit here right now? I just have a lot of anxiety. I feel like I'm on the verge of a panic attack because I know that the calories that I ate this morning are just going straight to my thighs and stomach. How long has this been going on? Uh, this has been going on severely for about two years. She's always been obsessed with food, but the jogging, um, when I got her the Fitbit, that's when it really got severe. And, and you don't blame this on Fitbit, because I mean, that's a, that's a good tool, and oh, people, if they use it properly, it's a great yeah, thing. Yeah, I have one, yeah. but I don't sit there all day yeah, and of course. look at it.